Are you ready for the next generation of iPhones? Rumors are flying about the highly anticipated iPhone 15 Pro, and the leaks are starting to pour in. But that's not all that's happening in the world of Apple. The Mac Pro has disappointed fans, and budget-friendly AirPods may be on the horizon. Join us in this video as we unveil the Apple Loop and discover all the latest news and rumors about these exciting developments in the tech giant's world. Here we begin. Apple Loop is here to remind you of a few of the many discussions in the Apple community over the last seven days. iPhone 15's massive camera upgrade. Apple's next-generation iPhone 15 series is expected to include a new state-of-the-art camera sensor from Sony with significantly improved performance. According to Nick Asia, the new camera component can capture twice as much light per pixel as conventional sensors and is expected to appear in Apple's 2023 iPhones and other manufacturers' devices. In certain settings, the sensors can capture more light and reduce overexposure or underexposure, allowing a smartphone camera to photograph a person's face clearly, even if the subject is standing against a strong backlight. The dynamic range of a camera is a measurement of its ability to capture both bright highlights and dark shadows at the same time. This is one of the primary ways in which premium cameras distinguish themselves from less expensive alternatives. The greater the dynamic range of the sensor, the less software trickery the smartphone requires to produce a pleasing result. A significantly improved dynamic range would improve the iPhone 15's ability to take photos in low-light conditions while also improving advanced features like HDR video recording. It would also expand the scope of photo editing when using Apple's Pro Raw mode. The breakthrough performance of the Sony sensor is due to a new semiconductor architecture that separates photodiodes and transistors into separate layers. Placing the light-sensitive photodiodes in their own layer allows more of the sensor's surface area to be dedicated to light capture rather than being blocked by other electronic components. The new sensor's benefits could be far-reaching. Increasing the light-gathering ability of a smartphone camera typically entails using physically larger sensors and brighter, more expensive lenses. Sony's new sensor technology would effectively double the camera's light-gathering performance without increasing the size of any camera components. This is good news for Apple fans and smartphone users in general, because it suggests that iPhone camera performance will improve noticeably next year. Pricey iPhone 15 Pro Those looking to upgrade to the iPhone 15 may have hoped that Apple would keep prices stable for another year, but the margins appear to be too tight. So prepare for significant price increases, particularly for Pro models. Prolific leaker Leaks Apple Pro confirms last week's claims that Apple will aggressively price iPhone 15 models. The key distinction is that aggression was assumed to imply lower iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus pricing in order to reverse disappointing sales. Instead, according to Leaks Apple Pro, Apple will simply make the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Ultra more difficult to obtain. The listening for AirPods Lite Is Apple planning to launch a new AirPods product at $99 instead of one that is a year old and discounted to $99? Ming-Chi Ku, an analyst, has proposed an intriguing possibility. Ford's David Fillon examines the possibilities. Given this predicted price point, it appears that Apple will introduce something reasonably basic, though not necessarily as simple as the second-generation AirPods, which will obviously disappear when the budget version is released. Newer technology is likely, but the improved audio and other features introduced in the third-generation AirPods would be missing. I'd also expect the design to be similar to the current second-generation model, similar to how the SE phones took an older design and updated the technology on the inside. Apple takes control of your display. Apple will use the Apple Watch Ultra and other high-end wearables to introduce its own designs of micro-LED displays, presumably to use them on larger displays and more popular products. According to people familiar with the matter, the company intends to start by replacing the display in the most expensive Apple Watches by the end of next year. The screens are an upgrade from the current OLED, organic light-emitting diode, standard to a technology known as micro-LED. In the future, 
Apple intends to bring the displays to other devices, including the iPhone. The headset is really, really coming this year. The latest information on Apple's mixed reality headset, the game changer in this space, if you go through the runes correctly, will be released in the spring of this year, ahead of the Worldwide Developer Conference, before our commercial release later in the year. That should give developers enough time to develop at least one compelling reason to purchase the headset. Apple has been incorporating augmented reality into its devices for years. Still, it appears that the company will enter the territory of Meta, Microsoft, and Magic Leap with a long-awaited mixed reality headset in 2023. The release date of this AR, VR headset continues to slip, with the most recent report in early December from noted analyst Ming-Chi Ku, predicting it will arrive in the second half of 2023. However, with an announcement event as soon as January, every Apple event feels like the one where the company will finally reveal this device. In early January, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reported that the company hopes to unveil a headset in the spring, ahead of the annual Worldwide Developers Conference in June. 2023 appears to be a year full of virtual reality headsets that we expected in 2022, such as the PlayStation VR 2 and MetaQuest 3. Apple has already left plenty of hints about its mixed reality future and has been active in AR on its own iPhones and iPads for years. In terms of design, the headset is likely to follow in the footsteps of Meta's recent high-end headset, the Quest Pro, with a focus on work, mixed reality, and eye-tracking onboard. Disappointing Mac Pro Design While we wait for the first Apple Silicon Mac Pro, the Mac Pro that Apple said would arrive by the end of 2022, the design of the office-bound powerhouse has leaked. So let's just say 2019 called and demanded its box be returned. Another disappointment is that the new Mac Pro will look exactly like the 2019 model. It will also lack one important feature of the Intel version, user upgradable RAM. This is due to the memory being directly connected to the motherboard of the M2 Ultra. There are still two SSD storage slots, as well as spaces for graphics, media, and networking cards. The unmistakable cheese grater design, which sparked outrage after its debut four years ago, can remain on the Pro hardware. What Apple has in store for the machine could be better as well. While expected, the first limitation mentioned by German may still disappoint some advanced users. Unlike the current Intel model, the first Mac Pro with Apple Silicon will not allow you to expand the working memory. Memory modules are permanently attached to the chip and must be configured at the time of purchase. Second, German wants to be able to confirm rumors that Apple does not intend to offer a top-tier model with a new M chip. This was in the works the model with 48 CPU cores and 152 graphics cores has been discontinued. German says, instead, Apple is planning to release a version with the M2 Ultra chip, putting the new Mac Pro in an unusual position compared to the already available Mac Studio. And finally, throughout 2022, Apple continued to make waves in the entertainment industry and is quick to highlight its successes. There are a lot of eager consumers looking for content, according to 900 million subscriptions across all Apple services. We launched Apple TV Plus a few years ago, intending to tell stories that reflect our larger humanity. And whether it was Coda winning the Oscar for Best Picture or Ted Lasso winning back-to-back -back Emmys for Best Comedy, we have seen the validation of this type of storytelling and a strong desire for more of it in so many ways. What do you think of this Apple loop? comment below and subscribe for more. Do visit technicalterrence.com to know the latest technology and crypto news.